Hi, welcome to this demo of Simple LOD. I will show you how to merge several meshes together, how to create texture atlases and generate LOD levels. I have this model here that consists of several skinned meshes and also several non-skinned meshes. This armor here is a skinned mesh and this is a skinned mesh and this spear is a normal mesh and so are these arrows and this helmet. In total there are 6 skin me skinned meshes and 10 normal meshes. Let's open the simple LOD panel. Now make sure you have your, uh, your object uh, selected and then click Tools Simple LOD. Ok, so let's merge all those meshes together. It's done already and it tells you where the new mesh is stored in your project folder. When you look at the model you can see that there is now a skinned mesh renderer added that holds the merged mesh. All the child meshes have been deactivated. We still have a few sub meshes with materials. So let's see if we can reduce those as well by making texture atlases. So we click this button at step 2 and we get an overview of all the materials used together with their attributes. First thing we see is that all the textures are unreadable. If they can't be read then we can't make an atlas out of them, so let's fix this. Don't need this one. And this and the spear. We have Two reflective bumped specular materials here with almost the same values, this one and this one. So let's merge these two together. I just pick up the material that I want to get rid of and drag it onto the one I want to keep. Like this. You can see it already made an atlas in memory for us. You only see the main texture here, but it also has made an atlas for the normal maps. Now this arrow, these ones, they're just tiny things and it has transparency, probably for the feather, but I don't care about that and I will add it to the rest of the gear. Now I don't think I can safely merge this reflective material with this, uh, this diffuse skin, so instead of dragging the entire material, I will now only drag the texture to the right on the right hand side. So not this, but this and I drop it on here. What this does is add the texture and normal map and whatever textures you have in the atlases but leave the material properties untouched. When you look at the atlas you see that there is a lot of unused space. That's because not all four textures have the same size. If you want to change that you can do so with the little checkboxes you find here. So let's make this one half size the size of the entire atlas can also be changed with this other list box. Okay, now we have a nice looking atlas with three materials instead of five. So let's click apply. The window is refreshed and you can see that the textures have been replaced by atlases. They are unreadable because that saves memory at runtime, but you can of course change that again. Here it is. Now let's create LOD levels for this guy. It has about 20,000 vertices and it's already optimized for games, so we won't be able to reduce it very much, but let's, let's do it anyway. I'm going to use compression levels of 0 0.4, 0 0.8 and 1.2 and then click create LOD levels. There are two more things I could have changed. One is the slider for removing small parts. You can play with that when you see that small things like buttons or shoelaces or eyes are removed too soon or not soon enough. And there's the recalculate normal switch box. The best thing to do is switch this off for lower compression levels. The result will be smoother then. 
but for higher compression levels you should switch it on. Okay, so it's ready baking the meshes and tells us about the results. The reductions are not spectacular, but still we managed to reduce the number of triangles by more than 50%. When you look in the inspector you find this LOD switcher component and it has a handy slider here that uh, allows you to switch between the LOD levels in the editor. It's LOD 1, 2 and 3. So LOD1 looks okay, LOD2 still okay, the eyes have been removed as you can see, but so uh, that one you won't see that because you normally view this at this distance. And then there's LOD3, still a little bit more compression, it doesn't look very pretty anymore, but who cares at this distance. We probably could have uh, used a higher compression level, but uh, I didn't want to scare you. And that's it. I hope you liked it and mail me when you have questions.